Oh, what's up, guys? We're reacting to uh, a channel I haven't reacted to before. I think I've seen some of the videos. The Generosity, I think he has like a couple story times. And uh, why the fuck is this bitch from Diagram Kid on my screen, bro? Let's get into it. I don't want to look at her face anymore. When you hear this, what would you describe it as? Angelic. No. I should click out this video right now. Heavenly. No. Beautiful. Just good. Why is Roger music? crying? Little bitch. And now when I put on Uncle Aaron's beats from PP Spider Man, what goes through your head? Nails on a chalkboard. A fork scraping a plate. Rent. Horrible man created atrocities come to mind when hearing this god forsaken beat. No wonder why he went to crime. Cause no bills would ever be paid if this was his profession. I mean, it's just bad music. Oh music is a funky rhythmic set of beeps and boops and pss and pops and sometimes. And when these beeps and boops and bops and bangs synchronize together in a symphony or a catchy tune. It sparks a joy to my eardrums when listening to these pieces of skillfulness, genius, art. Sometimes the music Why? can be so Fuck good no. that when it gets interrupted by anything, you can't help but feel angry. Like your wife kissing you in front of Willem Dafoe. Bitch, get off me. Sometimes music can feel so <laughs> right in your ears, like it's pouring cold water directly. To the ears. Other times, good music could spark Fuck. an emotion that could only be expressed with crying. And other times, good music could rethink the way you view life in a euphoric sense. All of those interpretations <laughs> come into this. I cannot write think pieces. But you get it. Good music sounds good. It makes us go, ooh. Even though music is subjective, we all know it can recognize a good song when we hear it. Everybody knows free bird bops, party anthem okay. rocks. I really rock all any black. All universally <laughs> beloved songs among all cultures. Any sane person can recognize as a goat when they hear it. We can recognize good music just as much as we can recognize bad bad music in most cases is a plague to the human mind look at this music video and i already could tell it's fucking girl and in ears like eating the butt of a woman who didn't wipe in most cases it's just straight bad but sometimes it could come in all types of delicacies okay what the hell do i mean by that I just mean music is one of the most subjective genres that exists. It isn't like movies or TV shows where at least some people there have to have at least some level of talent and artistry to make a decent product. Now, anybody with a phone and a mic could make a song of them talking on beat to a metronome instrumental. And I can guarantee you there's still a fan base out there for them. Because even a low effort or sloppily composed song can still sound better or at least have infinite more replay value than a master at their craft releasing something. I was going to make this video about good music Versus bad music, displaying some songs and artists I like and hate, like Taylor Swift, good, Weezer, bad. The you know, fuck? just spitting facts. But, but that's just boring. So instead, you're gonna hear a barely educated man raving about the versatility of good music and quote unquote trash music. When thinking of good music, what comes to mind? Michael Jackson, Bob Dylan, ancient Mesopotamian music. Nah, for me. It's definitely the vibes. Facts. That's what's important. How a song makes me feel. You see, music ain't just for entertainment. It's whatever you in the mood to experience at that moment. Like if I'm in the mood of breaking, I want to listen to metal or heavy bass boosting rap yeah. to enhance my experience of me destroying my house. If I'm in the mood to float, I'm going to put on Radiohead or anything that's considered shoegaze. That combined with a gas station cart will make you feel like you're experiencing heaven that's considered shoegaze. That combined with... The gas station cart will make you feel like you're experiencing heaven. For real. And if I'm in the mood to sleep, I'd put any new little baby song to experience true slumber. That's how music is. The experience is a majority of my enjoyment. When I have a bad time with it, that's not good. Like if your dad catches you listening to something you think is peak, but the rest...
rest of the world might not vibe with it. I'll be ASMR. So don't remember that time the next time you listen, and the time after that, ruining the song for you for all of eternity. Because you always have that memory of, oh, 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 oh my dad heard that. <laughs> oh, that's like. Be careful if you're shuffling your like songs on Ox too. Imagine you and your gang in the car bumping the good shit. Then your playlist started playing your Steven Universe songs you forgot you added back in high school. And they're all like, the hell is this you be listening to, bro? How'd you know we love this song? Oh my god, it's my it favorite. So much. It's I my favorite. It. It's so good. I'm into fat pictures. Imagine I have me and the gang are in a polyamorous relationship. Bro! Now for life. That's just the way it has to be. Also mentioned in Steven Universe made me remember how music greatly affects a TV show and movie experience. The facts. When watching a movie, the music can literally suck you into the KSI, what the fuck we I need to know the context behind the KSI you Follow me on Twitter and then just send me the It can make you feel like you travel in the world of the Lord of the Rings. I need another or context. It can feel like a kid again when watching Andy playing with Woody and Buzz. Imagine. A film giving you an emotion like that is phenomenal, but it doesn't always have to be that. Sometimes a montage could really up a movie's quality with the right song choice. <laughs> it could make a scene of some nerd making his spider cosplay costume more intriguing, or gut punch you like Up's first five minutes. Like this scene without its iconic music, it would not hit the same. Yeah, nigga, there ain't gonna be no sound. Well, true, but in my opinion, they could have switched out the music with another song, like, like Seven Years by Lucas Graham. In, in fact, if they switched the music with that instead, I think the scene would have been more powerful. Don't lie, you agree with me. It's Get even out. better when both the soundtrack and movie itself work together as one unit, like an Oppenheimer. Everybody in their Nana has seen it already, so we all know how amazing the soundtrack is. Each song blending in with every scene, making every event in this movie feel more epic than it actually is, even when it's just him teaching it in the classroom. Ludwig Granola did an amazing job with the music of the film. And since the music is blaring the entire movie, it never takes you out of the experience. Musicals. Some people don't mess with no. musicals, but Fuck no. with a good musical. Some people don't like them because they think, ew, why are they singing and dancing in public out of nowhere? Kind of crazy. That's my not gonna lie. Super. Not one of y'all have ever felt whimsical. Not one of y'all have seen a small glimpse of the beauty that life has to offer. So <laughs> extravagant. That it made you what want the to fuck? sing. It don't even gotta be the beauty of life. Eating a good burger would provoke me to sing and dance on the spot. Musicals are not unrealistic. You guys are just pixies. You see no magical color in anything. Musicals are fucking fire. Acting like La La Land and The Lion King aren't no. peak. Lion King Especially go, Renaissance yeah. Disney musicals. Disney were dropping buckets like they were the 97 Bulls back then. Wanted. A movie can take you so far with just this music alone. Like, have y'all seen Grease? The no, bro. Don't fucking talk. Main... Talk about fucking. Bro, no. Like, I was hoping you would not talk about Grease. I don't want to fucking hear about Grease, bro. I'm really just going to skip this part. Fuck, no. Musical okay, can take you a long way. But a bad one makes you want to get off at the first stop. And there ain't no better example than the new Mean Girls movie, bro. I don't even know why I watched this. I've heard everyone say it was bad. I watched the trailer for myself, thought it looked bad. I heard one fentanyl Pam song, thought it sounded bad. Saw the new Karen and Regina, thought they looked bad. I'm gonna eat it. Plus, I'm a huge fan of the original. Literally, it's top 20 movies ever. So when I heard I they were gonna make a wanna... remake and no. it's gonna be a musical, I instantly thought, well, this shit about to suck. And it is. The musical's terrible. Every time this girl opened her mouth and hit a note, I hated it. Every time the <laughs> student sang, I hated it. This song 
made me want to vaporize whoever was responsible for putting it in this movie. Not one song is good or decent. None. Like, I don't. Almost every time they break into like song and right dance, now, it looks and this. sounds so awkward. The lyrics are bad. Like <sighs> y'all wanted to make this a musical and not know hold how up, to hold make hold a up, musical. Hold up, hold up, hold up. bad. Like y'all wanted to make this. Sounds so awkward. The lyrics are. Vagina George and I'm a massive deal. What the? Bad. Like. Y'all wanted to make this a musical and not know how how to make a musical? Why? Why why did you guys make this? Why why are you guys like this? Even outside the music, the movie farts on the originals. Story, characters, and comedy. This is no redeeming qualities. It's just shit. Okay, that's not all true. The new Damien carried this film hard. I'll give him that. I'd even argue he did better than the original. Like, he's genuinely the only humorous part in this movie. But even he couldn't save it. Because every time Katie's actress is on screen, it feels like she's trying to trap me inside a domain expansion. Bad movie, bad musical, and bad music. This movie makes me fear when characters start singing in movies. I don't want to fear music in movies. I don't want to talk about this no more. It hurts. And for TV shows, let me gush over this quickly. But I love South Park's. Oh yeah. Oh my God, bro. This part breaking bad. I don't know. I don't listen to fucking Spanish music. I always do. But this, this shit is fucking goaded. I'm musically focused shows just pull out with the biggest banger you've ever heard in your life. SpongeBob and Amazing World of Gumball do this all the time. Whenever a SpongeBob Christmas special is made, just believe the SpongeBob writers will cook a jingle like no other. Gary Come Home is oh better than bro, any bitch song. And Rip Pants? Do I need to continue? Even just the background music is iconic. And I don't just mean the background just music of them just I've talking had, and so stuff. I mean the music cues of when they close up on some <laughs> ugly ass mug. That's the best. And Gumbo has less songs, but it makes each one count. Bro, I don't know who, who tells the voice actors of Gumbo and Darren to perform like they're young and still thriving, mindless behavior. But whoever you are, thank you. I don't even need to praise them. When you yourself hear a vocal like this, you'd want to text her back too. Anyways, video games. There's no. Could that have been Sprite Night Two? Just to see like music and numbers. Sometimes music in video games is more important to me than the video game itself being able to work. That's how serious this is, bro. I love the GTA Five radio so much. Driving at night in game whilst listening to West Coast classics is better than therapy. Undertale soundtrack always makes me want to ascend, and the Jet Set Radio soundtrack. I, I did not know life could be so good, but Nintendo music never. I'm a big Pokemon fan, and the soundtracks for each place you enter is marvelous. The friendly neighborhood vibes of Litter Town. The Pokey Center theme feeling like a big old hug from Nurse Joy herself. And Lake from Pokemon Diamond. It's not even just their games. The menu music on their console apps goes hard. The music on Me Plaza just made me want to grind hard. The Wii? The Wii song goes hard. Harder on the game whenever I'm I play it on my 3DS. This goofy ass song that's in every YouTube video in existence. Must the Wii startup music. Yes, that's the one I was talking about and thinking. It's like Nintendo were summoning the dark evil spirit of John Lennon to make this music so fire. I love Nintendo so much. I love it. But they don't love me. Nintendo music fire. I love Nintendo so much. I love it. But they Love me. Nintendo music is amazing, but nothing, nothing compares to Sonic music. Bro, I need to hear Red Dead 2. I don't even know where to start or end in this it better be Red Dead. Like, Sonic need to bring was Red Dead. such a big part of my childhood, and the music in all the games, even in the anime. 
It's just, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Y'all seen WrestleMania Night 2 this year? That's how each and every Sonic song feels to me. That's how good I think it is. Like, Sonic in general could be a video on its own. But I'm just gonna say this. In This World is the best video game song of all time. No debate. It's too good. It's just too good. Oh. oh my computer's gonna fucking die. I better have time left on this video, bro. I gotta I am I'm, I'm You cannot tell me this shit doesn't go hard. said the word music too much. I I'm going to use a different word. Uh, burritos. Burritos is delicious. Ah. Sometimes, what the sometimes even the quote-unquote bad ones. Have y'all seen the playlist for terrible songs on YouTube? This is some of the greatest stuff I've heard. I would... I've even asked my Twitter <coughs> uh, for some trash. And even they were giving me beef. You might think you might like me, but I promise that you won't. I've designed this web of lies. I do things I say I don't. Not to say there's not a lot of bad music out there. Believe me, there is. Any rapper that rap fast and he just say nothing, like rap slow and say nothing. Just because you yapping like Alvin and the Chipmunks over there don't mean I'm impressed. Turn it off. I'm about to expose myself right now, but I don't care. I'm not going to lie about it no more and pretend these songs and musicians are bad. But 100 Gex, bro, I'm tired of pretending to hate them, bro. Like, yeah, I, I still don't like Money Machine. And it's also not like I'm in the love with every single Gex. song they put out. But when they hit, they really hit. Why is Hollywood Baby one of the hardest songs I've heard this year? Dumbest Girl Alive is hard, too. And I also love that uh, the Reno's Chill the Beatles song. I really like that. Their new album in general, kind of, it kind of smacks. It's a fun listen. They still hit or miss for me, though. Don't, don't clown me too much. Blade? No, 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 I'm, I'm not taking this blade disrespect. I refuse. I had a short <laughs> blade phase back in freshman year. Red light and working on dying were consistently on my rotation. This dude was basically my juice boy. And I do admit his music is for sad middle schoolers that are depressed because their mom said no to the friend sleepover. And his <laughs> new music ain't nothing. Asking to have a sleepover with your homie. And it's like, fuck, no. That is indeed sad. That's. Sadder than a fucking breakup. The right home about either. But to little old me back in freshman year, <laughs> you have no idea how good Blade was to me. Plus, I don't want to tolerate any disrespect from anybody named Pokemon 333. Your days are numbered. <laughs> Jay-Z, K-pop, the Roblox song. Y'all don't know good music if it's Mac Oh, no. What the fuck? I should click off this video right now just from seeing this. With a fish. AJR? Oh, okay, they are, they are pretty bad. You see, we all got different definitions of bad. Welcome and guy. since that is the case, is there really such thing as bad music? Yeah, you're right. Burritos are a... What the fuck? <laughs> 